hoặc là được food why not one food 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 people let's talk about food you could eat a unique delicious and outstanding food you should know the different types of short Italian pasta Shorter noodles come in a variety of shapes that will all cut sauces in different ways. It works great with thicker and chunkier sauces that have meat and vegetables. Because of the unique shapes, most short types of pasta are made with an extruder machine that cuts the shapes with a mold. What are the different types of short pasta? Campanelli is a pasta one of the lesser herd of pasta shapes. It's rolled in a cane or in a cone and has ruffled edges like a small bell-shaped flower. The hollow center will cut thick sauce as well and you could even cook as a substitute for elbow in macaroni and cheese. Caserese is a picture tube shaped pasta, will likely open with the rolled edges that were not quite connected. Caserese is like a loosely rolled and twisted noodles. The center will also cut sauces as well. Cavatappi. This hollow spiral shaped noodles is also referred to as a double elbow pasta. The multiple twists and turns provide lots of surface area to get it coated with a sauce and top it inside. Plus, the extra length give more chew. Yes, it's a great in macaroni and cheese. Fusilli, this spiral shaped noodles has a lot of grooves and crevices to cut extra sauce and dressing. It's tardy enough to toss with a thicker sauce like marinara or meat sauce, but it's also commonly used in pasta salad. Radiatori, you can use radiatori noodles in soups and casseroles. It's not common in grocery stores, but it's a unique shape. It's like a futuristic spiral. Dare I say it looks like a mini parking garage. Routini is a commonly known corkscrew shaped pasta. It is a tighter spiral than a fusilli. But like fusilli, it cuts just all type of sauce as well. From thick and meaty to all base to creamy, it can handle it all. I particularly love in this one pot chicken. Cacciatore. Elbows, you first make elbow macaroni noodles when you were crafting in kindergarten, but you likely grew to love covered in cheese. As an adolescent and adult, it is small half circle shape. In addition to making pasta dishes, and it's an excellent noodle choice for casseroles. Farfalle, it sounds exotic, but it's merely a bow type pasta. You'll find it all types of creamy pasta as well as pasta salad and maybe even accompanying elbow macaroni on your kids' art project. There's not a lot yet can do, but there's a type of pasta. Gemelli is a pasta noodles look like two thin ropes twisted together. However, it's playing a thick on your eyes. It's one noodle twisted to look that way. It collects as well, and it's common noodle choice when adding leafy veggies and herbs to pasta and pasta salad.
henna is like already a family favorite in your kitchen. It's a hollow cylinder shaped noodles with slanted edges. It has ridges that make its texture ideal for cutting sauce. You may also see cold mustache coli. In addition to various pasta recipes, another common noodle used to casseroles are mixed with chicken and zucchini, and this chicken piccata pasta dish. Rotelli looks like a something you'd see in a kid's soup. It's fun wood shape and catches all types of sauces and ingredients in a soup or pasta. It is small and bite size. Rigatoni looks like a sister noodle to penne. It's also cylinder shaped with ridges in its texture. However, it's like this tupier and not as so narrow. It does not have the slanted edges that Penny does. Like Penny, the ridges and garden center will drop sauce so every bite is cheesy and creamy and flavorful. Alright, Kate, these noodles are often compared to the shape of ears, and you can see why. While it's diverse type of pasta that works well in the most recipes, cream sauces love to cling to it. The little dips in the center look small but work magic for catching sauce and flavor. Ziti is another type of pasta that looks like very small to penne. It's also narrow and hollow. It has straight edges and no ridges in texture. Baked ziti is a common dish on the menu at the Italian restaurant, so it's casserole friendly. Other loving toast with a little olive oil and tomato sauce for a simple weeknight pasta dish. Orso is a mistaken over grain, but it's a typical pasta. Pasta with the smallest of a small pasta shape. It resembles rice and it's often used to make also pasta salad. It can also add great textures to soup. And Ditalini is also the smaller end of a spectrum when it comes to small pasta shape. If you are sliced to see the noodles, the several smaller noodles know what Ditalini resembles. Samples. It's carbon and is drawn as soup, and it has simple ingredients in pasta pagioli. Those are the fundamental basic process to create a good food. Modicum people, thank you for listening and see you soon.